What's up guys, in this video I wanted to show you how you can install and use Fastboot on your Nexus devices. Now, the first question I want to answer is what is Fastboot? So I'm just going to open up Google Chrome here and type what is Fastboot? Whoops, what is Fastboot? Fastboot is a piece of software that supports a protocol to update the flash file system in Android smartphones from another computer. Fastboot guys is awesome, it will get you out of 99.9% .9 of all your problems you have with your Nexus device. You know, I've had a lot of questions like how do you root, how do you install a custom recovery, my flash went wrong, how do I get back to stock Android. These can all be answered with Fastboot guys and you know, if you learn how to use Fastboot you won't have to use toolkits anymore because all toolkits really do is use Fastboot. You know, you can unlock your bootloader using Fastboot, you can flash a custom recovery using Fastboot which can therefore flash root. It's all fast boot guys and you know if you're serious about custom ROMs and custom kernels and stuff like that you should learn how to use fast boot because it will get you out of a lot of trouble and one of the main reasons you, that's good with fast boot is you can uh, download the stock Google image of Android and just go back to stock Android and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video but the first thing I want to do now guys is uh, show you how to get fast boot so you want to search Android SDK being awful in my typing today and it'll be the first link so click the first link download for other platforms and you can pick any platform you want Linux Mac or Windows I'm gonna pick Windows 64 bit accept the terms and conditions and hit download you'll see it starts downloading 406 meg it's gonna take me about a minute but I've already got it so I'm just gonna cancel that out now I'll show you it in the downloads this is the file you'll get Extract it somewhere where you're actually going to keep it guys. I put it on the desktop just for ease But I wouldn't suggest putting it on the desktop because you will need to keep this So yeah, I'm using WinRAR to extract so just uh, extract it the whole file like that Click extract and you're good to go. You'll get this the Android SDK This is the bread and butter of Android. This is the whole thing You know you can use this to create apps if you want to you know You can use Eclipse to create an Android app put it on your phone and have your own app You've got the SDK here and you've got the, the SDK manager. Now this is what you're going to need to uh, use straight away. So double click the SDK manager, should load up. You'll need, to click, you'll need to keep Android platform tools, you can see here, up to date. So you can see there's an update available and um, I've got it ticked. And you can also see Google USB drivers. Now when you plug in your device in fastboot mode, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later, Windows and uh, Fastboot won't recognize it. You have to install the special drivers. So download these drivers. And if I just show you my uh, SDK that I use now with the drivers already installed, when you hit download, it will download them to extras, Google, and USB driver. This is where you need Google. Uh, Google. This is where you need your PC to search for the drivers and install them. This is where your ADB and Fastboot drivers are. Now, I don't really want to talk about drivers because I've already got them installed, so I'm not going to uh, install them now. But if you're a little bit confused on the drivers, just search for a guide on Google. There's loads of guides to uh, install the drivers. Just search, you know, Fastboot Drivers for Windows Guide and they'll pop up. Once you've got your drivers installed, you're pretty much there. So you want to go into SDK and you want to go into Platform Tools. This is where ADB and Fastboot live. And I'm not going to talk much about ADB, but that's also awesome. So here's Fastboot. Now if you double click it, it will just quickly disappear. What I do guys is I search for my command prompt and I copy and paste it into this directory just to make it a little bit easier. Now if you double click it, you can see I'm already in the directory to use the stuff inside it. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and uh, navigate to this directory using CMD normally, but I find this just a quick little kind of easier method to do it. So let me type in Fastboot fast boot and you can see it comes up with all this stuff you can do um, I'm not really going to talk much about that if I type in fast boot devices guys and this is how you see if your device is connected so you can see all I typed in is fast boot devices hit enter and nothing appeared so I have no devices connected and that's right I don't so I'm going to grab my Nexus 10 here and what you'll notice guys is I've got Ubuntu on it now I don't want Ubuntu anymore and I forgot to make a backup of my custom recovery I forgot to make a backup because I wanted to show you how you can flash a stock Google image onto a Nexus device. So I'm on Ubuntu right now, I don't have a backup, so my only option to get back to Android is to use Fastboot. So what I'm going to do now guys is turn it off and by holding all three buttons it should automatically turn off and go into Fastboot mode. 
Each uh, different device pretty much has their own method. I think my Nexus 4 is down and power, and you should get into fast boot mode. So this is the bootloader mode or fast boot mode. This is where you need to be, guys, to use fast boot. Take a good look. That's where you've got to be. So let me uh, plug in my device here which is by USB. Plugging it in. Whoops, wrong way. So I've plugged it in, nothing much happens, okay? But my computer should have recognized that it's in fast boot mode. And if I now type, guys, fast boot devices, whoops, so I spelled devices wrong. Awful. My hands are too cold to type. There you can see, now we have a device, and that's my Nexus 10. You can see the number there. It doesn't say Nexus 10 anywhere, but that's the only thing it could be. And last time we did that uh, command, nothing came up. And it is, you can see, in fast boot mode. So I am good to go to use fast boot. So what I want to show you now, guys, is how you can go ahead and flash the stock Google image. So the first thing you'll need to do is uh, actually download the Google image. So just go to Google and put Nexus stock images stock stick what am I? awful today and you can see the first one is factory images for nexus devices click this and you'll see them all you can see them the nexus 10 4 7 q the galaxy nexus you know they're all here and you can see android 4.2.2 make sure you get the right one because it can be pretty devastating if you don't um hit this one so this is one i want 4.2.2 you can see the links are here Nexus 10, make sure you get in the right one, 4.2.2, click the link, and it will start downloading 313 meg, two minutes away. I've already got it, so let me uh, go ahead and show you. Uh, where are we? Downloads, this is what you'll get. Again, it's in the zip format, format, formation, I was gonna say, I don't know why I was gonna say formation. And there we go, it's opened up. Extract this, doesn't matter where you do it, I've already extracted it, you can see it here. And this is what you get. So you can see the bootloader, flash all, and here is an image. Now inside this zip, guys, is the uh, fundamentals of what it is. So you can see the boot image, recovery, system, and use data. Now you don't really have to extract this. You could just uh, run this, flash all dot bat in fast boot mode, and it'll flash it all for you. But uh, I'm going to extract this because I want to show you something. So there we go. I've quickly extracted that. And, whoops, I only extracted one. That was, uh, that was unhelpful, right? So we'll do that again. We want them all. Make sure they all come. System image. And with Fastboot, guys, you can flash all these separately. And that could help in some, loca some places. So to flash this stuff, guys, you, they do need to be in the same location. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste all these I'm going to close this out now, you don't need it, um, into the platform tools in your Android SDK. So you put them there and you can see now they're all copied in, boot, cache, recovery, system and user data. They're all there. Now recovery is obviously the recovery image, so you can go back to stock recovery just by flashing that. You can uh, flash the system if you've got something wrong with your system, that is basically the whole ROM. You'll flash your, your, all your data will be gone and stuff like that. You'll flash the actual ROM itself. Your stuff on the SD card should still be there. Um, because that's just the system. So if you flash the custom ROM, you can go back using that. Boot image, if you flash the custom kernel, you can just flash the boot image and you'll pretty much have the stock kernel back. So let me show you how to do this, guys. We'll open up the CMD again and we'll type fast boot. And this is where you'll kind of learn the uh, devices. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here so you can see better. Um, right. Fast boot, probably should have made it a little bit better. Bigger, better. So this is where you go to flash. So what you want to type in is fast boot flash, fast boot space flash, and now you type what you want to what you want to flash. So say I want to flash just the kernel. We'll go ahead and flash fast boot flash boot, and then the file name. So my file name here is boot image. So boot. God, I should have made it bigger. We'll do that again. Okay, that should be enough. Right, boot.image, hit enter, you can see sending boot, and over here, you can see fast boot status okay, underneath there, that's it. So if you just, if you were on completely stock ROM and you just wanted to flash just one part of it, you could do that. Obviously it's the same with everything else guys, so if I wanted to flash, for example, the, 
I don't know, the user data. I could do fast boot, flash, user data, user data dot image. There it goes, sending it over. Now, this is great and I've used it a lot of times. If, say, I'm on my Nexus 4 and I've got a custom kernel and I want to go back to a stock, all I'll do, guys, is I'll fast boot, flash, boot, boot image, and that's it. I've got the uh, the stock Google kernel again. So um, that's that. It's really easy. Now, what I want to show you here, I'm just going to delete these because that's what you want to do if you want to um, flash them all separately. Now, like if you remember what I said before, if I go into my downloads here, I'll delete that because that's what I extracted. I'm going to copy and paste all this. Copy, paste, all this into here. So yeah, guys, I've copied and pasted all that of the uh, stock image of 4.2.2 .2 into my platform tools. All you need to do to flash the whole image instead of the separate stuff is to just write f flash all dot bat. And there you go. Off it goes. It's now going to flash the whole image, and you can see some stuff is restarting and uh, doing stuff here. But there we go. It's all uh, going. You just have to wait for it to do it. Shouldn't take that long. I don't know if you. I'm just going to skip to when it's done. But you can see it's uh, it's all doing it here. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, skip to when it's done. Okay, guys, and you can see it's done. You can see press any key to exit. My Nexus 10 is rebooted. What we should see now is uh, we should see it boot into Android 4.2.2. Well, we're going to start again because it's uh, it's a stock image, so there's going to be no data on here whatsoever in terms of my apps. Looking good, though, because we've got the Nexus X instead of the uh, Ubuntu start screen. We'll just uh, get rid of that. So that's done now. And that pretty much, guys, is how you flash the stock image. If you get into any trouble or stuff doesn't start working and you just want to start the whole thing over again, use Fastboot, flash the stock image, you'll be back to stock Android. Obviously unrooted and with a stock recovery. Like I said, everything is stock here, guys. And there we go. This is Android and there's the start screen. You can obviously go ahead and, you know, the bootloader is still unlocked, but you can go ahead and flash a custom recovery using Fastboot. Like I said, all you have to do is Fastboot, flash recovery, recovery.image, just the name of it, and you're good to go. So that, guys, is how you use Fastboot. So I hope that's uh, answered a few questions. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.